Yeah. What's today's date? October 6, 2023. And what's going to happen next? They're going to do their friendly handshake they made up. Alright, go ahead. Oh my goodness. Uh oh, is that it? Okay, alright. What's your what's your name on the top there? Kaylin. Kayla, how old are you? Uh ten. And where are you from? Uh Anderson, South Carolina. How about that on the bottom? Kaylee. Uh how old are you? Twelve. And where are you from? Anderson, South Carolina. And what football college football team do you uh pull for? Clemson! Get a kill over there here. We got any talk, bro. Get a kill. Come on, remember? Goodbye. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That, that's the number one fan right Woo. there. She's the number one. Go Tigers! All right, y'all ready to go ahead at the talk? Yep. Wait a minute. Look at them pants. Boy, about years ago, people laughed at you. I ain't lying. I'd walk up to these guys' friends on you. <laughs> Late girl, let me go get you some new shorts. <laughs> Uh, what they cost now? About a hundred dollars? No, about fifteen dollars. But the jeans cost a hundred dollars. Oh, okay. All right. Well, Nate, let's see now. Oh, you ain't got them big shoes on? Not today. Huh? Yeah, they got them. Oh, and they got a dang ring put through their nose. Doggone it. I didn't want them doing it, but they did it. Let's, let me get it up close. Yep, yeah, they got it put in their nose. All right. Hello everybody, it's Jimmy, Jimmy Gillstrap. I'm down here next to Charleston. My wife and the grandkids just took off in the mall there at Tanger Outlet. Do some shopping. But don't you look what I'm looking at right here, the black car. About 25 years ago, my daddy, he didn't have an education. He went about sixth grade. Most of them didn't go far in school back years ago. We was fishing one day, and this is what my daddy told me. He said, boy, you, you gonna think like I'm crazy. But one day, you gonna see it. He said, I ain't gonna see it probably, but you'll see it to where people will be driving cars off of a battery. Daddy, you right. My daddy been gone about 10 years. I bet he'd love to see this. Look at that. Well, in there. Actually, this is the first one I ever seen. I think they got one somewhere on 85. Close to Anderson. But anyway, look at it. This is what they call uh, electric vehicle charging. Well, I bet it runs quiet. You, you won't hear no motor or nothing. See, uh, it's a good idea, really. Because that motor probably weighs i say at least 2,000 pounds or better. See, that way they ain't got to haul that motor down the highway. But there you go. No more what it's saying. This is a 2023. Probably 10 years from now, they'll have cars that will be like the Jetson. You'll fly like a little rocket, you know, go, you know, airplane. But everybody be in there off the ground, just flying, you know, no wheels. And when it comes to a stop, just wheels flop down like a plane. Why don't you look here? Let me see what it says here. Hello. TV charging has arrived. Yep. I thought it was, I thought it was right. Now this is 2023, they just started it not long ago. I'd say in the next 20 years, there won't be no gasoline station, probably just a little places to go get you some gas or you're riding lawnmowers. No, uh, they'll probably be, <laughs> hey, I can't tell hey, now y'all hear me? Hey, I, I bet you 20 years from now, I won't be here probably, but Y'all, y'all go on there. You'll see my video. You'll see this one right here. Jimmy was right. They even got uh, uh, riding lawnmowers electric. I seen the other day this guy. He was in his yard. 
up there next to Pendleton. He was cutting his grass standing there, and he was out there doing it by itself, a little bit of uh, lawnmower. He was controlling it. Now, that, have you ever, hey, have you ever heard of that? I, I first time I've seen that. But anyway. And do yourself a favor and do everybody a favor. I know there are going to be some people out there ain't going to like what I'm getting ready to say. My daddy, he was, like I say, he was a smart man. Boy, he could figure anything out. Tire motor down, put it back together. Long more motors, he was real smart. But anyway, you never saw nothing in his yard all his life. Only a Ford and Chevrolet. That's it. I think he bought a Dodge one time. But yeah, he did. But, and that's why I like to go forward. This is our car right here. That's that. Well, it belongs to my wife, Melinda. That's her little car. But I really don't want to get on politics, but I am just a little bit. If the United States could build about 50 major auto plants, to build cars and put our people to work. There won't be no money going across the ocean. If y'all know what I'm talking about. So y'all have a good day. I'm gonna get on out of here. Hope you enjoyed the little video. But there you go. You see me got an EV charging park now. Before I go, I wanted to get this one. This one here charges at the front. The other one is at the back. Look at that. So you can charge on the front. You be charging. You can charge on the front or back. Ah, uh, gee, they'll have to wait and do it. Got sideways on top of the car and all that probably. That's the future, y'all. Get ready. You'll be driving a battery charged car. What the oil companies don't like that? There'll be a lot of oil in the ground left, won't it? <laughs> All the government, they're going to get their money somewhere. You know, they, they charge you a lot of tax on the gasoline. Now you charge it, I guarantee you, they'll probably charge you. 50 cent a mile. <laughs> if you use electric car, I wouldn't doubt it. They can get that money one way or the other, and y'all know that. This pretty little place. I like down here now. We're about two miles, you know, from the beach. If they want to come down here and do some shopping, go you know, downtown Charleston. Lynn's and my two grandbabies. KK and Kaylin. What was that say? Trick or treat? October. I just wonder how long it takes to charge your car up. They say once you charge them, they can go like 220 miles, I think that's what they said. That's pretty good, you know. If you can get it charged cheap. They what they charge Hey, hey, they say what they charge is charge. All right, folks, I'm going. Have a nice day. Goodbye. See you in 2056. Hey, everybody. This is Jim. I know we're down here next to Charleston. I am. The kids and uh, my grandma was there and they're shopping around to see the store. But, uh, it is beautiful. It's called the Tangra Outlets. Yeah, you ever been through here, I guess you probably stopped here. But it's like a little city, you know. All of them, uh, got all cement walls. It's real beautiful. Got Michael Coors. Here we go. Look, uh, this is what I want right here. Watch this, y'all. That burning. <laughs> That's up. Yeah. Okay. You got it right now.
<laughs> yeah. It, just, just hang out. I'm going to try to get the jet when it comes back over. Yeah. That's pretty. Yeah, 
man, I can't imagine a big jet like that crashing into them buildings up in New York. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. It seemed like, it just seemed like it would go right through it. It did just shut that whole building bubble and blow them down. It's so sad. That's a Lola soap. Pretty good, how you doing today? The sun is shining, can you play? Yeah. What you sell here? Huh? What do you sell? What is you sell? Who's on the camera? Uh, you? Yeah, what, what, what do you sell here? Uh, here? I'm giving you a free commercial. Oh, here that's a soap store. Right. Like it's, soaps? It's called Lola Soaps? Yes. Oh, I've never heard of it. Uh, are they well known? Yeah. They are? Rock room shoes. Yep, I've heard of that. You stay in the tank of house once again, y'all. If you come there and give them a shop before that season. This, but you know what it sounds kind of scary when they come over me it reminds me of uh, 2001 9-11 Three times. All right. All right. First time. K A I L Y N. Second time. K A Y L I N. And then K K E Y L Y N. 
or you can go C A Y L Y N. That's why I didn't want Amy uh, and your mom naming y'all all the names. See all your life, y'all gotta tell everybody when you go to the case. I mean, when you like fill out papers, how you spell your name? How you spell your name? Uh, how you spell your name there? You all your life. My name is this. Oh. You just can My name is this. Yeah. All right, let me get back and get your shorts. Let's see. I know that's why you bought them. Okay, all right, that's the shower. That's your shoes. That's, that's KK. All right, tell about where we at. Zach's busy. Uh, uh, it's, 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 it's not Charleston. You would what this, this is called? North Charleston. It's Northern Charleston. No, it's called North Charleston. That's the town. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people don't know that. Right now, we're in North Charleston. And, and, and we'll soon be, we'll soon be in talk. Can we do a fit check real quick? Huh? Can we tell you where our outfit's from? It's yeah. A fit check. Okay. So my shoes are from Google. Uh -oh. my, my pants are from Sheen. Uh-huh. And my shirt is from my mama, because it's a, a motorcycle shirt. Oh, and well, where's your from? Uh, th these are from Timu. These are from Timu. And this is from uh, Simply Southern. And then hair clips from Timu. Yeah. You know a lady asked me the other day, she said, she looked at me, she said, look, look now, listen. So lady said, where you from? I said, I'm from my mama. <laughs> That's what I told her. That's what I told her. God from my mama. Everybody's from the mama. What y'all get these? What you got? I don't know what I ordered. You don't know what you ordered? How about you? I got the um, Southwest salad. Oh, that's, that's good for you. Yeah. Keep the weight off of it. What'd you get there? Chicken nibblers without Zach's sauce or barbecue instead. Mm. Hey, you got two K and KK? KK? Just don't put another K with it because everybody don't want to like it. What would you do if somebody walked up to you and forgot you? Hey, KKKK. That's four times worth it. Hey, KKK. 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 Well, once you learn, just get me together. But uh, y'all remember Stonewall Jackson? You remember him, Robert E. Lee? That's what I'm getting ready to ask you, man. Stonewall Jackson, Robert E. Lee. That's two of the famous people that fought for the Southern people. Alright? They fought for white and black folks, whatever was in their area in the South. All right, now, guess what they're trying to do? They're trying to take all their monuments down in their honor. That's wrong. That's wrong. Trying to take down. See, they fought for us. They fought for all people, black and white, brown, whatever, yellow, pink, purple. And then, man, if it, Stonewall Jackson could come back alive today, or Robert E. Lee, you. You wouldn't believe what that have to say. Anyway, I don't get on politics. How you doing? We down here. Hey, what, hey what, I don't think she knows. Yo, what, what town we in? Uh-huh. Start for a N and N with an H. Where's Columbia? Huh? Where's Columbia? No, we in Charles. Char we're, I'm in mean, Charles. This one. This one.
we're in North Charleston, which is the city. That's what I said, we're in North Charleston. Huh, we ain't got Charleston yet. Can you say we're in Charleston? It's two different cities. That's hard to believe, but it is. Everybody knows it's, it's about like Homeland Park to Anderson, you know, Glute Mill to Anderson. So they we all, ain't in Charleston yet? No, we're in North. About a mile down the road, we'll be in Charleston. So it's, it's just like North Greenville, you know. North Anderson, North Greenville. Oh, that's an airplane again. I know. I'm getting it. There it go. Missed it. Now we're going to. Did you get it? Did you get it? Let's see. Look at that. She got it, man. Look. Look. Clouds and all. Oh, good. You got it. Oh, she's quick. It's live. Oh good, it's live too. Oh, look at that. You got it going, yeah, uh-huh. That's quick. Send me I'll send you the picture of this place. Now, tonight I have y'all on uh, YouTube. I'm going to put What kind of music do you want me to put behind it? KG. KG. All right. I'll try to. He got to save this guy. Uh, he got to save this guy. Yeah, Some sides might let you do it, folks. It's, it's, like, huh? it's my hospital bracelet when I was younger. Oh, that's it? Yeah, that's it. I found don't it. Lose it. I ain't. Right, well, now, I told you what to go on. Go go to YouTube. Enter. Hey, go to YouTube right now. Do it now. Enter. Kaylin, Kaylin Sewell. We do that all. We do that all. Yeah, we do it will be Kaylin Sewell born. I Wait, got Kaylin's what? Kaylin's born. Bird, a born bird. bird. That, that's about six, six videos. Your daddy's holding you. Uh, they're cleaning you up. We all stand behind the window, all a bunch of them. You remember that? I won't ever forget that night. And look at that. That's she is. Look, look at that. As long as you get both of them, be grown. Both of them, be grown. I'll be over first. I'm two years older. Yep. You're an eight bird. You're an eight bird. She's ten, remember? You're an eight bird. You know what, hey? Uh, she got them, oh, what do you call them eyes? Brazilian eyes. And I got hazel. Them pretty Brazilian women. Give them eyes. Their eyes are real dark, eyebrows. What color is your eyes? Are? They're, they're blue, and if I'm really, really mad, they'll turn green. Oh, like hers. My hers turned red. She's got my eyes. I have mine in. Uh, I, I, I have, have green's eyes. Okay. All right. We're down here at the back. We're getting ready to eat. Hey, Mama. Hey, Melinda. Hey, hey, that's, that's the front of Can you tell? Can you tell these people on here how me and her met? Okay. So it all started at this club thing. It was called the Portman Lounge. The Portman Lounge. And Papa Jimmy was saying it was. Took a break. Yeah, and he took a break, and he had like three girls beside him. No, that was late. He had hoes. No, that was the next week. Oh, the next and week, right? Uh, so the first time I met her, yeah. I was walking up the aisle. Yeah. Give, give me some place. There she sat in the booth like this. Yeah, and then she was with uh, her mom, which is Minnie. Right. And now what did I say to And they, uh, Papa Jimmy called him King Rooster. I, I said, no, here's what I said. Here's how I did it. I said, what we got here? Two king rooster heads. Now, you know what Becky said to me? She looked at her. She said, what the hell he just called us? I thought she was going to get up and fight me, Becky. <laughs> and, and Melinda said, Mama, he just kidding. I said, no, I ain't y'all. I said, get look like king rooster heads with your hair back. <laughs> and, here, and here we are. Here we are. Oh, wait, now, the next week, the next week she came down to tell that story. I was, okay. on, I was on the stage with what? Uh, you were on stage with the band three up. Uh, wait, you took a break. Mm -hmm. And you I was were, on the band yeah, stage. On the band stage with three other girls. They were sitting in my lap. Yeah. And what and happened then, there? And then Dreamy came over and said, and said that's where my boyfriend got him. No, she said, y'all got to go. Oh, well, y'all got to go. Oh, yeah. She pointed at them. They left. 
I said, well, you come on in, baby, sit on my lap. And she did. She's been sitting in my lap 33 years. <laughs> She's still pretty, ain't she, y'all? Look good, let everybody see you. Come on, what you reading? Yeah. Yeah. She's still. Uh, she's in her 50s, but she don't look it. Yeah. 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 Come on up, she was my daughter. Yeah, I said, no, she's my wife. All right, we're done here at North Charleston. And uh, y'all getting ready to go to the beach. Yeah. Hey, yeah, uh, don't go out too far now, the sharks are down there. Sharks? Yeah. Yeah, don't go uh, way out too far. Hey, Kayla, what you got? Ooh, look at that. Um, the Southwest Salad. It's called what? Uh, the Southwest West oh. Salad. Hey, next time we go to the one, I'm eating on the bed, though. That's what I'd like to have right there. What'd you get? I got three chicken emperors with barbecue sauce instead of sack sauce. Oh, is that what you normally get? Fries. And okay. then... Eat it up. Oh, you're stealing tomatoes out of her plate. Yeah, she go eat them. Can you eat them? Yes. Oh, you don't eat tomatoes? All right, let's eat up. Let's, let, let, bow your head. Thank you, Lord, for the food we're about to receive. God bless you. Amen. All right, we're down here in North Charleston getting ready to go for this beautiful bridge. I can't remember the name of it, but it's beautiful. Play music, private parties and stuff. And I used to play in bands a lot. Lord, yeah. 
We go to like buildings, boy, you wouldn't believe the people there. And they tipped you too. We had about three tip jars out there. We made about 150. Back then that was real good money per person. Then we make like another hundred dollars tips a piece. So we did pretty good. And you had to know a lot of beat songs, we did. Go a shot of my baby love. Oh look at that my grandbabies. Woo, hot out here. Look at that, that's surfing. Oh, he fell. Boy, it's pretty, pretty out here. Beautiful day. Kind of surfer. Y'all, y'all going out to, going out there. Melinda, been together 33 long years, good years. Look at the camera down there, kid. My, my pretty wife, she's always been pretty since the day she was born. I don't see what she's seen in me, but she stays with me 33 years. She seems to be happy, but she's, she's been a little sick for about, what, 15 years? Yep, she, yeah, she's been sick. She, she's doing okay. I'll keep praying for her. Alright, that's the two little grandbabies out there. That's Kaylin and KK. They couldn't wait to get down here to follow the beach this weekend. We brought them down here. Pretty out here. Look cool, ain't it? Yeah. Huh? That is. You don't got your own little bit. Look at her. Got a baby. Baby suit on. It's a little cool out here, ain't it? Uh, you need to get her on back in here. You have to watch them baby. Have to watch them baby sharks. You little baby sharks. They'll never let you feed. You have to be careful with them. If you feel something like biting it, go. Come this way if you, you know, run. So stay in here. <laughs> you know, I used to come down all the time when I was a young boy. You hear me? When I got on up about, I guess, 27, 28, and we come to him, people would be sitting around, and me would be talking to me. I said, why come you, you ain't going in there, sir? He said, I ain't going in that sitting thing. And I got to thinking about it right now. Right now. Well, that's the money, ain't it? So I'm throwing some money out. Yeah. Uh, this, is our, this is our home. Oh yeah, they got poop somewhere. They got 
They got to take a little bee. Don't have all that fish. That's why I get so soft. Don't have all that fish, kid. Uh-uh, don't say that. No, don't say that yet, young gun. She might not come back no more for a while. Uh, once well, she gets strong, let her figure out herself. I love the bee. Always come on back down here to get about 25. <laughs> If you, was, hey, if you was to tell her right now, you know where the uh, whales and all the fish, shark, poo poo at? Oh, she probably jumped up out of it. What are you doing? I got you. I'm getting you. You gotta have her phone. What's her phone at? In my back pocket. Well, don't drop it now. Hey, do not drop it. Please don't drop it. Okay, hey, don't let the water get put your hands on it. Oh, leave it There she goes. Look at it. She's growing. Shoot, five years from now, you won't know her. Could be up there like Amy. That's KK. Boy, she likes that there, don't she? Yeah. Huh? I like to come here at night and fight around, take my guitar, and, and write a song with the waves. Do you have the waves in the background? Oh, I can write a beautiful one. There ain't nobody here, let the waves go. Send me a chair right here, give me my guitar, my Spanish guitar. Now I'll write my five ocean sea song. I'm available for video capture right now this time. Oh, really? Oh, you are? I'm unavailable. Oh, you're unavailable. But well, that's hard to believe, you know what? If you took up on the ship right now and went that way, not 200, not 300, but 3,000 miles across. Swear to God. When you come out to London, England. Isn't that amazing? See, my, my ancestors, Peter and John, they came over here. You didn't get to go back because you talked so much. So when they went by to all their people, they didn't see them no more. They landed up here in Virginia. They landed in Virginia, the gift shop, on, the, yeah. on that ship. When they got off, they went seeking for work. And the rest is history. Gift shops all over South Carolina, North Carolina, Texas. And they all come from two men. I did too. Uh, Peter and John, I come from Peter's side. My daddy always told me, he said, he said, boy, he said, all the guilt traps are related. I said, how you know them? He, he told me that story. You know, it's in, it's in the bull. And uh, he said, boy, if the guilt trap ever tells you he's not kin to you or something, he just don't like you. <laughs> he would tell me that. Yep. And I know a lot of gift stuff when I go up to Liberty and Pickens because I was raised in Anderson. Uh, my grandmother, she left up there uh, back in 29. That's a long story to it. But uh, my daddy never did see his dad. I mean, I hate to go into it because it's sad a little bit. But my granddaddy, Roy Boat, B O L T Gill Strap. You can go to findthegrave.com and it tells you all about the gill strap. Uh, even you, if you got people buried, just go and enter their name. What cemetery? I guarantee you, it's one of the best sites on the internet of finding your ancestors. But, but my daddy never—he never saw his daddy because he was pregnant. I mean, uh, his mom, mom was pregnant with him. He was six. She was six months along. His daddy went out one day to go fishing on the fishing bank in Liberty. 
He was sitting there fishing and this man came up and stabbed him in the back. Mistook him for another man. He thought it was the guy he was going to kill, but it was it was my granddaddy's wrong man. So they put him, they put the guy locked him up in jail. And my grandmother, uh, she had uh, two boys, my uncles, and, and the daughter, Eleanor, of course, they all dead. She grabbed them up and moved to Anderson because she was getting threats. People were throwing stuff in the yard. You better not press charges on her. Said, well, yeah, he, he, killed, he killed her husband, my granddaddy. But his name, you can go on, like I say again, uh, it's called Find a Grave. Dot com. When you go on it, uh, just hit memorial and then enter your loved one's name if they did. You can find them. They're great, great, great grandparents. Uh, but mine is Roy. I mean, excuse me, it's uh, yeah, Roy Boat Giltstrap. That was my granddaddy. And like I say, my daddy, he was born uh, six months later in Anderson. And, uh, he, he never, he never didn't know her daddy. I didn't know my granddaddy. <laughs> That's sad, you know. In fact, no day, boy, that was mean. They cut you, stab you. They didn't care. But uh, I finally asked my grandmother, what time did he get? And they only gave him, uh, I think, 12 years. He got out in 12 years. Lord, Lord, Lord. Anyway. Well, it's pretty out here. It's beautiful. I had to get back to that find the grave, but a lady about three months ago, uh, I, I've seen her up at Walmart talking to her. She said, Don't you know how to find ancestor people on, on the webpage? Somebody told me you could. I said, Yeah, it's called find the grave. Man, it's stars, movie stars, singers. It says, it says uh, famous. You click on that if you want to find somebody dead famous. And when you click on it, it's got their mama, their great great mama, and all that. It goes back to the pictures. I want you to see Elvis. Go and, and enter Elvis Presley. And click on to his mama. She was a Smith. And it's got pictures of her great great. Grandmama, it goes way back to the eight, early 1800s, and I don't—I didn't think they had dang cameras back in the early 1800s. I always thought the camera uh, didn't get started around 1850. But anyway, check it out. I guarantee you'll enjoy it. It's in you, like I say once again. Whoever you're looking for, it's dead, and you will find out who their daddy, who their daddy, who their daddy, who know. You know. Find it. Now, you know, it's best to become a member. That way you can type in whatever you want at the memorial of your loved one. Just become a member, it's free. All right. Yeah, my little pretty lady. Where's the camera at? Is it the same clothes there? Yeah. I'll make sure. You pretty on the beach. Wait a minute, how? Oh, oh that'd be a good title. Ooh, she's pretty on the beach. Hey, look at that little, little bird down there, look. See, they don't got used to people, look. Look at it. Out looking for something to eat. Back up, boy! I thought it was one. That's, that's hard to believe. If you were to take off that way, go east, over that water, around 3,000 miles, guess what you'd come out at? And it's true, right here where we're at, Folly Beach, Charleston area, right below London, England. Isn't that amazing? I guess that's the trip. My ancestors took, they were from London, England. 
Uh, I think Peter was from a, a little town called Middlesex. My D D L E is the X. And I think um, um, and John, I think ooh, I want to make sure I wanted to do so. I think John, his brother, was from a little town called uh, Pina, England, P-I-N-N-E-R, which is right there around, you know, London. But just about everybody in the United States comes from England, Germany, Scotland, Ireland, you know. There weren't many that came from uh, Australia, but those five people that, that live here come from that area. That's where your ancestors are buried at. I'm into ancestry, you know, I don't know if y'all, but I met a guy about 10 years ago up near Table Rock. I was up there at the cemetery video some of my ancestors that were stewards and prices, prices and stewards. They were kind of known out there in the area. T.R. Price, uh, I, think, I think he was a mayor. He would be my, about my fourth great granddaddy. But uh, they, they say he was a real smart man to love helping people. And uh, when you go up to uh, 178, like you're going to Rosden, <laughs> my dad always, we'd go up through there on Sunday sometime in the car. And that was the curviest road I've seen in my life. And my daddy, he said, you know who uh, engineered this road, don't you? I said, who? He said, my great, great granddaddy, T.R. Price. And that's what I told him. Mama lied. Mama lied to come out of the door. I said, well, he must have been drunk as hell. Excuse my language. That's what I said. Because it is curvy up there. Showing up, I went online and found out that he did, he did the engineering on it. But back then, man, they didn't have much to work with. You know, they didn't have the technology and stuff they had today. So he didn't know where he was going. He wasn't up but a mountain. He was digging his way up to Roswell. And that's the way he does. Imagine going and pick yourself right there up on a bunch of trees. All you see is trees and hills. We need to thank all our ancestors and people in the past that built all our roads for us. They're dead and gone now. We need to always thank them for that. Every road you go down, somebody had to do it in the 1700s the hard way digging it. Of course, then, you know, later they came along and they put gravel down and then they faked it. Oh, look at him. Boy, he's hitting right now. That's Gary and KK. Uh oh, I come to big one. Woo, that's a big one. Oh, it's 11. Oh, uh, we're all gone. It's 11 now. And I hate to be in that hand when the storm came along. God. Woo. I'm surprised these houses right here. I'm telling I'm gonna tell you. Bali Beach is one of the coolest places there is as far as living. Them people right there live right under them houses. Especially that house right under. With a two-story right under. And all it takes is one good storm and it, it wash it away. Thank God it had nothing happened to him in a long time, I don't think there is. They're all still standing. Unless they've been knocked down and rebuilt, that's probably what it is. Yep, I could be wrong there. They could be new houses there. If y'all get a chance, go on Google and see if they've had any bad storms that knocked the houses down there. It'll probably be F-O-L-L-E-Y. High spell, Folly. F-O-L-L-E-Y. Folly Beach. Go. Bolly beat. Alright, that, that she is. Got a little bikini. How come you didn't get them to match? Huh? How come you didn't make them red, red, or blue, blue? I don't know. I just Huh? It looked better if you did it that way. That's alright.
you like being here back in the 1700s when the big Mayflower ship boat came in? It was packed, boy. Uh, uh, would you like being here? I like being standing here waiting on them. Yeah, I did a little. I like to dibble in my ancestry. I know you probably do too, and you might not. But uh, I didn't start doing that until about 10 years ago. I don't know why I wanted to get into it, but, but now it's so interesting to me. Uh, my aunt, her daddy wanted to get stabbed in the back. Eleanor Ackerman, of course, she died. She was 92. That's my daddy's only sister. She would tell me all kind of, oh, look coming there. Boy, she's doing good, that lady there. Look at that. I'm telling you, look at this. That's good. Yeah. Anyway, um, you play. Go ahead. my grandbaby, KK, my daughter, girl, Carrie, my daughter, Carrie, looks look just like those, Melinda, her grandmama, in the face, eyes and all, of course she does take very very little, but all of them, uh, all the grandkids, they, they got Melinda's eyes, boy, them beautiful, Sorry, eyes. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I forgot what I was talking about a while ago. Um, I was online um, on ancestry.com and that Find the Grave. I love Find the Grave better than I do in anything on there checking out my relatives, people you live. You know, seen of people that passed away. I've been a member of Find the Grave probably about 15 years, maybe longer. Every night when I come in from work, you know, selling car for it, I'd go in there and get my laptop button. Boy, I couldn't wait to go find the grave and add names of people that died that I know that's putting in there. But now, Back then, it wasn't that pop, you, know, you, you, you couldn't see none of your relatives. But once again, uh, I'll tell you again, but uh, if you want to know where your granddaddy, great, great, great grandmama, great, great, great granddaddy, best thing to do, if your daddy is dead or his daddy is dead, you need to go on, find the grave and enter their name, try to get the cemetery and everything punched in, and then when it pops up, you ain't going to believe what you're going to see. You're going to see his daddy, his mom, mama, and then their daddy and mama, and then their daddy and mama. About four generations that goes back, and by that one, I've got pictures of them that you've never seen. How'd you like that? Huh? When well, time we come now, we're going to bring some chairs. And uh oh taking our lady again. Go get it. Hey. See, see, you see what them women do on the go? Uh -huh. On this keyboard? Uh -huh. We're going to bring one next time we come. That's right here. Look, watch, watch, watch. That is unbelievable. I used to do it when I come down here, but I, I couldn't stay as long. I'd fall within 10 seconds. My bottom ain't that good. But she came to here a while ago. She did good. She got almost out there and she fell. But she's with somebody else. I can't see. I don't know what she did. The other woman. Way out there? Oh, right there. Okay, good. Okay, what y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna go back out there some more? We're gonna watch the sunset. Okay. They wanna watch the sunset. It was fun.
I know it. I, I, know was, it. I was singing the whole time. Okay, once again, let me get you out of my house. Right, hold on. I've been bragging on your grandmama's eyes. Let's see that. Wait a minute. Oh, let's see. Look, look in the camera. Okay, now. All right, hold on a minute. All right, now this is where you get your eyes from. Pull it back. Pull it back. Right there. And your nose. Mama. I don't know where you get your temper from now. Mama. Oh, your mama? Uh-oh. Alright, let, let me let me check this in here, guys. Hey, you need to put that stuff over out the way, y'all. Oh yeah. You don't need to do that. Uh, you don't need to have it spread it out. You want to get it up close so some people see your face? That's right when you're smiling at people. Another one like this? Okay. Just me, just me. Come on, y'all. Get a little darker. Y'all having a good time? Well, good. Um. Uh. She dropped her gum. What you looking at? Why'd you drop your gum? Must be some uh, old boys. I see why she dropped the gum. Who am I here with? I'll be your granddaddy. What's your name? Oh, uh, it's uh, James. Richard, you Jr. Get the baby. And where are oh, you at? Get the little baby. Get the baby. Oh. Go pull up there with the end. Yeah. Yeah. Take your finger off there. Take your finger off there. Yeah, it's recording now. Go ahead. Yeah. Stop it now. You get it. Hi, you little body boys. Who am I here with? Who are you? I'm your I'm your Drammy. What's your name? Drammy. Melinda. Video. Now, you need to ask me, say, what year was you born? What year were you born, Drammy? Oh, that must be Mama oh, up there. Me, me too. Mama must born? be up there. What oh. year were you born? 1970. What year were you born? 1955. Now, how old am I? Add it up. Born 1955. I'm older than 60, so they give you a hint. 67? A little bit more. 68? You got it! Woo! Wait a minute, now you 13? 12. 12. Okay, and she's 10, right? Yep. And I'm 98, I'm the 97% most smartest kid in my math class. Really? Yes. Oh, well you know where you get it from, don't you? Your mom and her. I guarantee you she's, she's a genius. My teacher told me that I was one of the smartest kids in her classes. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's good. I was not the same thing when I went to school. I was. I look play and cut up and go on. Yeah, I think I'm in accelerated math, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You want video those? Where are we? Folly Beach, South Carolina. Right, right below uh, Tall. And it is beautiful. Yeah. And the sun is setting right about over there. But you know what? Hey, it's getting so crowded, folks. It's getting so crowded down here. Last time I was in here, about maybe 13, 14 years ago, it's getting so crowded. Who are you? Helen. Helen what? Sewell. How old are you? Uh, 10. How, what year were you born? Uh, 2013. Dang, you young. Yeah. How do you do it? Okay, now you record her. Yeah. Are you record her with your phone? And record her. Alright, how old are you? Eleven. What's your name? Kaylee. Or Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Oh, what year was you born? 2011. Alright. I have a question for you. Alright, go ahead. Is Joe Biden better or is 
was taught better. <laughs> I don't even like to hear Joe Biden's name. That's your answer. <laughs> so Trump? Well, I'm going to tell you the truth. Since the first time I got to seeing Trump on TV when he was on that show here, he's a big bragger. He loves to keep his hair beautiful. He brags about his golf courses, his hotels. But I don't care about that. He's doing his job. When he gets in office, he, good. I'm for that. So that. He probably don't like me either. I mean, I don't, you know? I, I don't hate him or nothing. It's just his ways, you know. Did you know that on, um, did you know that on, uh, Google, it says that Trump said that if we elect him for president again, he'll stop gender banning? Oh, yeah. And he'll ban gender changing? Yeah, right, right. Okay, now, you know the war in Ukraine uh -huh. against Russia? Mm -hmm. he, he and Putin are real good friends. This is what he said on TV not long ago on CNN. He said, when I'm elected president, the war in Ukraine will end in 24 hours. He'll make a phone call to Putin. They'll meet together somewhere quickly, and then it stops. Because mm -hmm. that's what friendship is, you know. See, Biden and Putin, who, who's killing all them people in Ukraine, they hate one another. Yeah. And we, and we just sent 10 $300 million jets, just like the one that food jumped out of, mm -hmm. over there. And they're right now, the pilots over there, so, so called. Uh, Ukraine pilots that that tank are training them to uh, operate the planes, fly the planes. And what way should they them crash? You're right. You gotta be real up, up on it to fly them things, and they can't do it in three months. So they they gonna probably destroy all of them. A uh, uh, ten uh, ten uh, planes at 300 million. That's what is that? 30 billion. Ten planes at 300 million. Uh, yeah, ten ten planes. I mean, 30 million. One, one yeah. plane costs. Of 300 million. Uh huh. They, they've already sent 10 over there. So what is that? 30. 30, 30 million. Bill, 30 billion. A thousand million is a billion. That's right. Yeah. See that? And guess who pays for all that? Who? Us. Now, I don't have nothing against you, Ukraine people or Russians. But if we was to get in a fight with Canada, who's our neighbor, do you think Ukraine or Russia would help us? No. no. So that's what I'm gonna say about that. The only thing that's gonna save us is, is that man up there. You're right. You know, he's the only one that's gonna make peace. He's but the devil, control. the devil doesn't like it. Right. Well, he, well, he, he, he spanks the devil. That's one thing. I'm glad you brought it up. That's all my life. I've always wanted. I've always wondered why come God, why come God lets him come into our hearts and our minds. I, I, if, hey, do you think I let a devil, y'all my grandkids, do you think I let a devil go in your mind and control you? No. no. Now, I don't understand why come God does that. On judgment day, whatever, I hope he tells you. Yeah. But I just can't understand that. I'd get rid of that devil immediately and start heaven up. You know. How did you become a Christian? When, when I was 10 years old, I got baptized. I've been baptized, baptized twice. I have to. Yeah, when I got 13, they said, you need to do it again. I did it again. Then, in 2009, I come home. Uh, Y'all might have been there. You know where we lived at on South Main? Mm -hmm. We come home from playing in the club. I jumped in the shower. And I wouldn't say, but I was baptized. I jumped in the shower. Melinda was asleep. Y'all might have been there. No, we weren't born yet. Really? 2009, no. David was born, but we weren't. That's right, that's right. There you go. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I jumped in the shower. I closed the curtain. I was in Washington. I just got back from the club playing. And I asked God, or Jesus, I said, when I was watching, I said, God, are you going to put me in hell? Am I going to hell? And about 30 seconds later, one of the prettiest, sweetest, no, come over me. Oh, I got to shake it. I got screaming and shouting. I knocked the shower curtain off the wall, off the thing. And Melinda coming out, what you doing in here? I said, I'm getting saved. I throw my hands up to the uh, sky. I said, God, thank you. Please save me right now. And I've been saved since 2009. Now, I'm not perfect. I cuss. I might drink a beer or two every now and then. 
I do that for my kids, you know. Uh, but here's not the Bible. Here's what God wants you to do. He wants me to tell you this. All my grandkids, but you want my grandkids. The parents, David, even Melinda and Carrie, are supposed to teach you about God and Jesus. Well, Daddy's a preacher, so right? I get it. And if we don't, he'll get us hard. That's bad on us. You know, always, when you, before you go to sleep at night, here's what you're supposed to do. When you lay down, God, please forgive me for any sins I did today. And guess what? If you don't do it, I truly believe he holds it against you on judgment day. And the next day you start over when you get out of bed. That goes your sins adding up. I do it um every time I pray when I eat. Right, right. But anyway, I, I can tell you you're a good girl. Um, they teach you good. Your mom and daddy teach you real good. But see, that's what the world needs right now. Uh, is God back in the schools? Everybody got to start going to church praying. Yeah, and I believe the world will get a little bit better, but the Bible says it's not. Yeah. See, we're in the times of revelations. So for long, there's going to be one man. He's going to be everybody's president. And you know who that man is going to be, don't you? God. No. Jesus? He's going to be the devil. Oh. Uh, yeah. But anyway, I don't want to get into it. Just get your daddy and mama and tell you about it. Yeah, I'll tell you a story. Huh? Can I tell you a story? Yeah, let me see. Him. Yeah. Oh, okay. you go. Huh? Give me so. In third grade, I had this friend, and she was not a Christian at all. She did not even know who God was. And I told her one day, because we were going to that church. Remember our old church in Belton? We were going to that church. You know how we did the dances? Mm -hmm. And yeah, so I was doing a dance in church. She's like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "I'm doing a gospel song dance." And she was like, "What is that?" There you go. There you go. Boy, it's getting pretty out here, ain't it? Y'all going out yonder? All right. But every now and then we get if we get out somewhere like this on a, on the deck, and I never did like it because the sound was terrible outside. It, you, you, you could cut it. Well, that's for Carrie. Carrie? I mean, uh, Carrie's daughter, KK. <laughs> I'm just starbound by that ocean. Look yonder. That's God, man. That just breaks my heart. Look at it. It's hard, it's hard to believe that one man. Made all this, made the mountains, moon, star. You, let me tell you the most fascinating thing that I believe God ever made. What do you think it is? A baby? And it, well, that's one of them. That's not, it, and it's 93 million miles from here. Mountains? Right, John. There ain't no way no man can make it and carry it uh, 93 million miles from here. Scientists have proven that if it was 50 miles close to us, it, it took us. Go ahead. I don't hear you saying. Okay, well. And KK going to sing. She's going to make fun of me, so. Oh, no, yeah, come on up here. She's going to sing. Come on. Sing. Right, go ahead. I'm scared. Go ahead, no. I'm scared. Everybody watching. Me 
Everybody's watching now. Well, it's, it's a Christian song. Sing it. So I, I like walking around. I'd rather hear a Christian song than any song. Right. So, Christ is my firm foundation. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The rock on which I stand when everything around me is mm -hmm. shaking. Yeah, well, keep on. I've never been more glad. I put my faith in Jesus. Cause he's never Mama, she's waiting on y'all. I don't think she feels good, y'all. Hey, look, y'all. Look at that cat. Look at that. That's pretty. All right, KK. Do y'all do ever play baseball, softball, anything like that? We're going to. You going to? In February. Yeah, that's good exercise. 